This is Matador News. Welcome to Matador News. I'm Kelsey Henderson. I'm Shannon Osborne. L.A. County has awarded Cal State Northridge a grant to help reduce obesity rates in Canoga Park. The $880,000 grant supports the Champions for Change Healthy Communities uh, Initiative. The aim is to reduce obesity by providing nutritional education, promoting physical activity, and creating healthier environments for low-income residents. The initiative will also teach fundamental cooking skills and shopping on a budget. CSUN is now offering free assistance with state and federal tax preparation. The program offers help to low-income individuals and families, including non-English speakers, people with disabilities, and veterans. The program is staffed by IRS certified student volunteers. The clinic is available six days a week on the CSUN campus. There are also nine additional locations available to people throughout the San Fernando Valley. The clinic accepts walk-ins, but recommends people schedule an appointment. Probation officers say the former head of the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum deserves a year in jail. Former general manager Patrick Lynch was accused of taking nearly $400,000 from a contractor. Lynch paid more than $30,000 in restitution and was sentenced to three years probation, but the probation officers say Lynch violated a position of trust and that his crimes cannot be excused with the fine. But legal experts say that Lynch was able to avoid jail by quickly repaying the money he took. State lawmakers are urging regulators to reconsider construction of the Oxnard power plant. Regulators say old plants pollute communities and are inefficient, but environmentalists say a new plant will harm Oxnard beaches. Public hearings on the proposed plant will be held in Oxnard this week. President Trump's Supreme Court nominee, Neil Gorsuch, criticized Trump's attack on federal judges. In a private meeting, Gorsuch called the attack disheartening and demoralizing. Trump's travel ban was delayed by a federal judge. Trump says the courts are political. He says the delays could have invited terrorist attacks. President Trump says, um, Excuse me, President Trump says terrorism is a far greater threat than the people of our country understand. Jeff Sessions has been sworn in as the United States Attorney General. Vice President Mike Pence officiated the ceremony that took place in the Oval Office. President Trump then signed three executive orders focusing on crime. The orders focus on eliminating criminal cartels, creating a task force to reduce violent crime, and preventing crime against law enforcement. Details of the orders were not released. Attorney General Sessions will meet with the Justice Department and federal law enforcement officials later today. German intelligence agency says radical Islamic cells and right-wing extremist cells are spreading across Germany. The intelligence says the intelligence agency says Islamic extremists have been advancing in rural areas, and the agency says far-right extremist cells are spreading throughout the country. The agency says both pose an equal threat to public safety. A Russian warplane in northern Syria has attacked, accidentally attacked a building with Turkish soldiers inside. Turkey's military says at least three soldiers were killed and 11 others injured. <laughs> Russia and Turkey supporting opposing sides in the Syrian civil war, but have joined forces to try and end the conflict. Russian President Putin called his Turkish counterpart to express his regrets. A Zimbabwe official told the U.S. Embassy to, quote, go and hang on a banana tree. The comment came after the U.S. criticized the country's human rights record. A Zimbabwe spokesman said the U.S. ambassador was a leftover from a terrible era. Tensions between the U.S. and Zimbabwe increased in 2003 when Washington imposed sanctions on 98 Zimbabwean individuals and businesses. The sanctions were removed under the Obama administration last year. Now let's go to Rochelle Salas with entertainment news. Critics say the Lego Batman movie is the best Batman movie since The Dark Knight. There are high expectations because the first Lego movie did so well. Lego Batman combines characteristics from every live action Batman film made while keeping parts of the original story. The Joker, Two Face, and other villains all make appearances. The Lego Batman movie arrives in theaters this Friday. The Jungle Book, Game of Thrones, and Deepwater Horizon were the big winners of the Visual Effects Society Awards. Executive VP for Marvel Studios, Victoria Alonso, won the Visionary Award. 
During her acceptance, she pointed out that only 43 of the almost 500 nominees were women. She said, we can do better. The 2017 Grammy Awards is this Sunday, and it's sure to be a star-studded event. Beyonce is nominated for nine categories, including the biggest award of the night, Album of the Year. Adele is also nominated for her album 25. Justin Bieber landed a nomination for Purpose, Sturgill Simpson for A Sailor's Guide to Earth, and Drake for his album Views. Drake, Rihanna, Kanye are all nominated for eight awards. Pop, pop, it's showtime! The show is being hosted by James Corden. Corden is host of his own late night show, famous for his segment, Celebrity Carpool Karaoke. The show is expected to deliver great performance, including Lady Gaga with Metallica, The Weeknd, and with Daft Punk. The 59th Annual Grammy Awards airs this Sunday, February 12th on CBS. And that's your entertainment news. I'm Rochelle Salas. Kelsey, Shannon, back to you. Several flights were delayed <coughs> and diverted from LAX this morning. The disruptions were caused by dense local fog and a powerful East Coast storm. Some flights headed to LAX were diverted to Ontario when the fog created unsafe conditions. A large snowstorm in the east also impacted flights. A major winter storm is sweeping through the northeastern United States. Boston is under 15 inches of snow, while New York is seeing its first flip. Schools across the region are closing and thousands of flights are canceled. The mayor of Boston says that traveling is hazardous, so people should stay off the roads as much as possible and consider staying indoors. Now we go to Chris Escobar with sports. CSUN has unveiled its new renovation plans for the university's baseball team. The project includes new, new stadium seating and the state-of-the-art team building. CSUN head coach Greg Moore says current and future players deserve its years after years of having a successful program. No state funds will be used to complete this project. Chino Hills High School sophomore Lamella Ball scored 92 points Tuesday night against Los, Los Osos. Ball went 34-39 from two-point range and hit seven of 22 three-pointers. He scored 41 points in the fourth quarter. Chino Hills defeated the Grizzlies 146 to 123. The CIF record for most points in one game is 100 by Trigran Trigran in 2003. 15-year-old Ball is a UCLA commit and could play with his older brother Lonzo Ball, who is currently a freshman. Stephen Curry has responded to Under Armour CEO Kevin Plank after Plank said Trump has a real asset to the U.S. To US. Curry, who was endorsed by Under Armour, stated that the description fits well if Plank removed the ET from asset. Under Armour has released statements that go against Trump's position on trade tariffs and immigration policy. Plank's direction of the company could affect Curry's alliance with the company. And what's new, and that's what's happening in sports news, I'm Chris Escobar. Back to you, Kelsey and Shannon. Premature deaths in America are increasing. Young, white, and Native Americans are dying earlier than expected. The rise in these numbers are linked to suicide and drug overdose. Accidental deaths have risen in all of the 50 states for women and 48 of men. Life expectancy stands for at 81 for women and 76 for men. Heavy weightlifting on a regular basis could affect a woman's fertility. The journal Occupational and Environment Medicine found that working with heavy weights affect the number of mature eggs a woman has. Researchers also noted that overweight women are more likely to be affected. Women who are planning a pregnancy are advised to work morning shifts and to stay away from back-breaking tasks. A Tennessee woman has received an early Valentine's gift from her husband. Matt and Stu and Brittany Stewart were college sweethearts. Brittany developed kidney disease and Matt decided to give her one of his own. Tell everybody I've already given her my heart and my money. Might as well give her my kidney too. Matt was a match for Brittany's rare blood type AB positive. The transplant was done at Vanderbilt's transplant and surgical unit. The couple is back home and no doubt will have the best Valentine's Day of their lives. Thank you for watching Matador News. I'm Kelsey Henderson. And I'm Shannon Osborne. Have a great afternoon.